I went through a season just recently that I've never been through before. If you haven't gone through a season like this, you probably will. What's up, TRT community? Let's help each other. Hey, look, I'm actually on vacation. So if you don't mind, I'm going to make this video just in the comfort of the bed here because I'm just chilling out, right? I mean, it's vacation. I'm just chilling. So in this video, I wanna talk about this because I went through a season just recently that I've never been through before. I think if you haven't gone through a season like this, you probably will on your TRT journey. And if you have, I think you will be able to relate with me. But I want to say that this video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. More about them at the end of the video. Stick around because I think you'll wanna hear about them. They offer professional and affordable at-home testosterone testing kits but we'll talk about them soon. So just recently I had this happen. It was about a month ago. I went through a span of about two weeks, maybe three weeks. I just had some injections not go so well. What do I mean? Well, on the way down to the muscle, I punctured a surface vein and it led to more bleeding and it just led to like a little knot on the top of my skin. Maybe that's happened to you. Um, some some bruising uh, later on to not, a, not horrible, but uh, it just wasn't fun, right? And so that sort of got me less motivated to want to keep injecting because it kept happening. Like seriously, almost, it was almost like three injections in a row. I had something go wrong and it almost made me like a little bit gun shy to inject the next couple times because I was like, well, what's gonna go wrong this time? Am I gonna have pain again this time? Am I gonna kind of like hit a, a sore, weird, tender spot this time? Then I got busy with some things in life and I just um, honestly, didn't want to inject. I was like, I'm too busy. And I missed like a day or two when I should have injected and I got off my schedule. And so it's, it was like this little season where I just didn't care about injecting as much. I didn't want to, and I had some things all go wrong at once. That's what I'm talking about. And that might happen to you, okay? What do you do during those times? Well, I've got three things I wanna share with you. And it's really, it's each, each of these phrases is gonna start with a W. The first W is this, let's talk about remembering what you've got. What do I mean by that? It is a huge, gigantic blessing that we are able to, number one, figure out that our bodies are even deficient on testosterone, that we're even able to figure out what's wrong with us. Having some doctor send off your blood work and they're able to look at your blood and figure out what's wrong with you, guys, listen, as far as human history goes, this is a very new thing that we've been able to do something like this. What a huge blessing that we can check our blood and figure out exactly what's wrong with us. I mean, imagine telling someone that five years ago. No, not five. <laughs> imagine telling someone that 500 years ago, that in the future, we're going to be able to get drops of our blood and look at it in special microscopes and machines and do all these tests on it and figure out exactly what's wrong with us. Do we have low blood sugar? Maybe we've got a, a thyroid problem. Maybe we've got cancer. Maybe we've got low testosterone. Maybe we've got high estrogen. All these things they would have thought, wow, that's insane. However, here we are. And now we can also have a synthetic drug our body believes is, is real and made by our own body that we can inject into our body and basically fix us. This is amazing. What a huge blessing. So remember, number one, what you've got. Number two, the second W, remember where, where you came from. Listen, if you're an English teacher watching this right now, you're cringing because I know I'm supposed to be saying from where you came, but I wanted to start all my phrases with a W word. So where you came from. Listen, if you're like me, you had low energy, mood swings, mild depression, all these things, and your quality of life before getting on TRT was just low. It wasn't as good as it is now, right? So when you dread going into the bathroom and getting your needle ready and doing all that, just remember, remember where you came from and where you are now and what a better version of yourself you are now because you've got your hormone levels normalized. It will help you. Thirdly, a third W, who you're doing this for. Who it's for. If you do this and if you keep doing this like you're supposed to, you become a better version of yourself and that's good for not only you, but it's, it's good for your family. Maybe you've got a spouse, maybe you have children, whatever it may be, you are a better version of yourself when everything's normalized within you. Energy is where it's supposed to be, 
motivation is up and, and good where it's supposed to be, your mood is better and right, all these things are going to help you be just a better version of you for them. So don't forget also who you're doing this for. And I hope that helps you guys. I hope those three things help you like they help me continue to even want to inject. Maybe you're watching though and you don't even know if you have low testosterone or not. You have no clue. Well, that's where Let's Get Checked comes in. Let's Get Checked offers professional and affordable at-home testosterone testing kits. They come right to your house. It's easy to do. You prick your finger, send in the blood sample, and then you'll get the results back on your phone within days. I've used them a few times in the past, and I'm very happy with them. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys, the TRT community. God bless. Peace.